Life is for living and the Sardinians certainly do that very well. Now I'm gonna do their Sardinian minestrone soup. We start off with onion and garlic as most soups have this beautiful flavor base. Now in Sardinia, all of these veggies on the board are probably from their garden. They have a great community vibe where if they don't have an onion, they can talk to their neighbor and they probably will have an onion in five minutes. So we'll just chop this up nice and small. So we'll put that onion just in there. Garlic, of course, which is abundant in Italy as well. Now this is something that you could probably make on a Sunday. You've got the family coming over. So in we go with some garlic. We'll have about half of this nice zucchini. This most definitely must be in season. It's absolutely huge. Now we want things nice and small chopped up in a minestrone. They're nice little chunky pieces. We're not gonna hit it with the hand blender. We wanna have a bit of texture and shape to things, but of course not too intimidatingly too big. So we must put a good amount of extra virgin olive oil, the good Australian stuff, because this is what the Mediterranean is like. This is their lifeblood. I swear it runs through their veins. It's about four tablespoons worth of this. And we'll just get this other zucchini. Rich in nice fiber and of course antioxidants, which is all part of the anti-aging regime, I think for them too. It's definitely got to be part of their secret. And of course some carrot, that lovely bright orange color, rich in beta carotene and vitamin C, making sure again that they don't catch those nasties that can catch us off guard so often. So we'll just chop these up exactly the same size as well. How lovely. Help you see in the dark as well with that vitamin A. Let's get that in there. I'm sure there's some old wives tales in Sardinia as well. That one isn't an old wives tale though. We'll just top and tail these gorgeous green beans and then halve them as well. But you really can clear your fridge out. If there's certain things that you're wanting to use, stick them in a minestrone. It's as simple as that. There we go. A bit of celery. I do think a bit of celery is a lovely thing. Celery can be kind of bitter, so it's lovely in a soup if you have somebody who's not the biggest fan. Make sure that you clean it nice and thoroughly. It does get quite dirty there. Down the middle. Again, all the same size and into the pot with that one. Now I have about four cups of vegetable broth. You can use beef broth, you can use chicken broth, but I'm going for a nice vegetarian friendly meal here. So four cups of broth, which is great because this is gonna cook our veggies down. Nice can of chopped tomatoes here as well. That just richens up the dish and to richen it up even more, I have about two tablespoons of tomato paste. Just a bit more concentrated, so it makes it a little stronger. A bit of chili flakes, because I think chili is a beautiful thing that we have in our life. It makes you feel alive. A bit of spice. And the thing that makes this typically Sicilian is we're using beans. So I have kidney beans and cannellini beans here. In we go, one can of kidney beans, cannellini as well. If you have dried, that's fine. You can put them in dry and they will literally just hydrate up in the soup. Some cannellini there. And we can't have minestrone without pasta. Just a few, and it's almost like a little present every time you get a little piece of pasta. Good amount of salt. Make it taste like the Mediterranean Sea, as Richo would say. And some cracked black pepper which is rich in antioxidants as well. We want to be nice and generous with this one. We'll just mix it around and we'll put the lid on and I'm just going to cook this low and slow for about 20 to 30 minutes and all those flavors will have come together and we can have a taste. That is smelling unreal. And that is cooked to perfection. Let's turn that down and ladle a good amount there. I think the nonnas will be happy with me with this one. Oh, wow. Lovely nice chunks. It really feels like a meal. This is a soup meal in there. It can be thick. You can have as much liquid or as much veggies as you want in there. 
in those lovely gardens. We have abundant herbs as well. So some basil, some parsley. Oh, the smell is fantastic. We'll just tear the parsley and the basil on the top. Truly, this is a big bowl of food as medicine. Some Parmesan, because a little bit of lovely cheesy goodness is the Sardinian way. And we just have to have a bit of taste. It's well worth putting that tomato paste in because it just really richens things up. But really, it's the vegetables that shine through. So it's a great way of getting your daily veg and nourishing yourself in the Sardinian way.